What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, today we're going to kind of change it up uh, now that Obi-Wan Kenobi has concluded and we are kind of in this gap junction between content. Um, I'm just going to kind of do some uh, little one-offs. I'm going to try some different things. Today we're going to be covering a Star Wars comic book. It is going to be Qui-Gon Jinn's Age of the Republic uh, one-off issue. It's super good. I highly recommend that everybody reads it. Uh, I'm gonna go through it today, so if you don't want to read it, you can just watch this video and you will get the full story. And I will obviously have pictures of the different comic book pages. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, if it's something you guys like, just let me know. Uh, you know, I'll probably do some other one-offs. I probably won't cover super long stories uh, just because or maybe I will. I don't know. You know, it's it's a work in progress. We're gonna see. I'm also gonna do some lore videos, uh, just some like tier lists, just some fun stuff. I just want to have some fun with this, and uh, then we'll have Andor to talk about August 31st. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be covering it episode by episode. I might just do a full recap or just cover specific topics within each episode. Kind of just figuring figuring this thing out as I go, uh, and I hope you guys have fun watching and. Yeah, let's jump into this. Today I wanted to talk about a one-off comic book involving one of my favorite Jedi Masters, Qui-Gon Jinn, who unfortunately died in The Phantom Menace, as you may know. He is such an interesting Jedi, because unlike others, he didn't strictly adhere to the Jedi Code, but rather the Living Force. Qui-Gon was more of a gray Jedi compared to his fellow Jedi Masters, and this comic book goes into Qui-Gon Jinn's inner conflict of being a Jedi fighting for the Republic or Jedi set on finding and keeping the peace in a seemingly increasing unstable galaxy. Considering the conclusion of Obi-Wan Kenobi, spoilers, just so you guys know, uh, Qui-Gon Jinn appearing as a force ghost at the end, I thought it was fitting to cover this comic book uh, now that we have seen him in live action once more uh, post-death, obviously. But yes, he is a fan favorite Jedi. The comic book opens with Qui-Gon deflecting laser bolts as him and the High Priestess of the Woods flee the Iron Clan. Calling in a young Obi-Wan Kenobi to bring the ship in for a hasty retreat, stating that the negotiations have failed. The Master and his apprentice escape the planet with the High Priestess and go back to Coruscant, where Qui-Gon tells her she will be safe for the time being. Angry at the retreat, she calls him a coward. She then says that the Jedi were supposed to be great warriors. Qui-Gon reflects as to what it means to be a Jedi and how they are perceived within the Republic and the galaxy itself. Wisely, he consults Yoda within the Jedi Temple. Qui-Gon Jinn questions whether the Jedi should be at the center of the Republic or somewhere removed so they can better serve the people. Within his mind, the Jedi have been acting more as weapons to be used by the Republic to serve politics rather than the people. Speaking to Qui-Gon, Yoda advises him to search for answers within the Force. Qui-Gon heads to his Jedi Starfighter and greets his astromech. Taking off from the Jedi Temple, leaving the planet-sized city behind, he locks into his hyperspace ring and closes his eyes as he meditates, and they enter hyperspace. Dropping out of the hyperlane in the orbit of a planet with little importance, one not even given a name, the Jedi Master senses the Force energy that flows throughout this untouched planet, the life that flourishes, as he travels, a coldness surrounds him. He senses the dark side. Following the trail to the dark side, Qui-Gon finds a dark monument. At the center of this darkness, he sits and meditates. Within his meditation, a vision presents itself. Red shadow vines attack. Qui-Gon quickly dispatches them using his emerald lightsaber, only to realize that he has killed innocent people he swore to protect. From his hand, the red shadow vines engulf him completely. This sudden corruption brings him out of his vision into his reality. Looking around, Qui-Gon sees that the light has made its way into the darkness, the balance in nature in the living force. He comes to realize what the vision was showing him. Violence sows the seeds of the dark side. Qui-Gon Jinn understands that unchecked, the Jedi could become the very thing that they fight against. Returning to Coruscant with his newfound wisdom, Qui-Gon Jinn speaks to the High Priestess of the Forest. He tells her that within the city, there is wisdom. To recruit some powerful allies to rally behind her, 
That Coruscant has people from thousands of other worlds that have dealt with similar situations. She must find balance with the Metal Clan. In other words, compromise. At the Jedi Temple, Qui-Gon talks with Yoda. Yoda asks him if he found any answers. Speaking to Yoda, he tells him he did in fact find the answers, but with that, more questions. The Jedi Master tells Qui-Gon, we should never be certain in our understanding, for arrogance leads to the dark side. Qui-Gon warns of becoming too rigid, like a tree that doesn't bend to the wind, to which Yoda counters, saying that the Jedi should not bend to the dark side. Qui-Gon smiles, saying there is no balance in the dark side, that it consumes all, and what are the Jedi's purpose, if not balance? I really enjoyed this comic book. It gives great insight into Qui-Gon Jinn's mindset, that being of balance and the living force. I think that he definitely saw cracks forming in the Republic and the Jedi's relationship and how they were becoming weapons to be used. It's very interesting to see the differences in ideologies between Qui-Gon and Yoda. Yoda being the strict practitioner of the light side and Qui-Gon being a practitioner of, of balance in the Force. I really I like that, that contrast between those two Jedi. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this comic book as much as I did. If you like these comic book breakdowns, again, just let me know in the comments below or message me on Instagram. Make sure to like, subscribe, and as always, may the force be with you.